Hi, my name is Axel Plinge. I'm here to introduce the paper High-Speed Collision Avoidance using Deep Reinforcement Learning and Domain Randomization for Autonomous Vehicles. Written by Georgi Scottes, Daniel Scherer and colleagues and published in the 2020 IEEE Intelligent Transportation Systems Conference. In this work, the critical application of high-speed collision avoidance is addressed. The goal is to avoid a collision by means of an advanced driver assistance system. The scenario is depicted here. The green car below drives at a constant speed and detects an obstacle, the other car, at a certain distance. The car must then perform an invasive maneuver to avoid collision. In the implementation of the advanced driver assistance system, we can split the processing pipeline into three steps. First, a perception module processes sensor input from cameras and other systems. This could be implemented by a supervised machine learning model. The output are abstract straight information such as speed, position and distance to the obstacle, also called affordances. Second, the behavioral and motion planning is done. Here the system described in the paper is implemented by means of the reinforcement learning algorithm, specifically a twin-delayed deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm. In order to apply this action, the car actuators are controlled, namely the steering, gas and brakes. In reinforcement learning, an automated agent is trained, shown as the robot here. The agent learns by interacting with an environment over several time steps by implying actions. He gets feedback input in the form of states of the environment and the reward value. His goal is to maximize the total expected future reward. The so-trained controller is a policy mapping from a state space to action space. The policy determines the agent's behavior, meaning his way of acting. As it would be infeasible to train high-speed collision avoidance in real life, the training is done in simulation. Here, the well-known open-source CALA simulator is used. This opens the challenging question of transferring behavior, policies, learned in simulation to the real world. The strategy employed for this here is domain randomization. The agent is not trained on a fixed environment, but a randomized one. This means that in each training run, the conditions are parametrically varied. This allows for robustness within the range of the parameters in training and beyond that range. The pipeline of the proposed method is shown here. In simulation, the agent is acting according to his current policy. When he performs an action, the resulting state and reward are used for the following action in the next time step. This process is then recorded. Using this recording, the reinforcement learning algorithm is forming a new policy. This is then used for further simulation runs and so on. The parameters varied here are the initial speed and distance to the obstacle. First, we look at the baseline case without domain randomization. In the plot, on the horizontal axis, different initial speeds are mapped. On the vertical axis, the initial distance to the obstacle is shown. The X in the plot designates the fixed training configuration. The colors represent the impact of collision in subsequent test runs. As we can see, there are multiple configurations where the color is far from the red zero. Let us look at a video of such a test case. The robot is sweating because he doesn't know what's coming. Here we see a similar plot with domain randomization. From training with just 20 configurations in the lower left area, all test configurations are performing safe. Let us see a video of a test run with parameters at the edge of the randomized training range. You can see the robot driver is much more relaxed and avoids the obstacle. If you like this, uh, feel free to download the paper. If you have further questions, you can also drop an email. See you around. Bye.